to cover schools during this pandemic. Tonight, Houston area teachers are protesting, saying in-classroom learning puts their health and lives at risk. Channel 2's Keith Garvin, a fellow member of our education team, is live at SciFair ISD's Instructional Support Center off Jones Road in Northwest Harris County, speaking to teachers at the meeting tonight. Keith? Christine, a lot of passion and emotion heard inside and outside of this building tonight. Teachers and their supporters who showed up say that they don't believe the district is showing enough concern about their health. Some even showed up to protest. An organized show of support outside the SciFair ISD Instructional Center with the occasional show of support from passers-by on Jones Road. About a dozen protesters gathered outside the district headquarters to voice opposition to the school board's plan to reopen schools on September 8th. I don't think it's safe to go back to school yet. The protest complete with a mock cemetery. Organizers saying that not giving teachers the right to instruct online only shows no grave concern about their health. At the end of the day, um, a low death rate is still a death rate, and we want to keep that out of our schools. We want to keep our teachers and students safe. Opposition also strong inside the building. The decision makers within the side fair school district continue to express their concern for students, their concern for parents, but absolutely no concern whatsoever for teachers. During the school board's regularly scheduled monthly meeting, teachers opposed to face-to-face -face instruction and their supporters took their chance to speak to the board. Leslie Gilmart was one of them. This is the toughest thing I've ever faced in my professional life. Gilmart and her husband are both employed by the district. They also have children who attend SciFair schools. Gilmart says not only are she and her husband not getting the option to work remotely, as teachers, their kids will be required to take part in face-to-face -face learning as well. I feel like my entire family's at risk and we're having to choose between our livelihood and our safety. And after no changes made to reopening plans here tonight, SciFair ISD is scheduled to reopen schools on September 8th, which is a Tuesday, with a virtual and an in-person option. Reporting live from SciFair ISD headquarters, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News.